Hey, I'm back and we're gonna do something just a little different. Some of you may think I've fallen off the edge of the planet, but I actually had a space adventure. Hey Troopers, this is Mr. J showing the love. Welcome to the channel. And because this channel is all about showing the love of God, we decided to give ourselves some space by staying away from the cameras and celebrate my wife's birthday for the entire month. So I want to start this new season by going into my archives. We're shooting this on a Friday, so I would like to do a flashback Friday on some of my favorite quotes from previous episodes. So leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. And now here we go. And no matter the outcome, I am not a victim, but victorious. Whatever you practice becomes your habits. Your habits will bloom into your destiny. Now, if we allow God to shine in the dark areas of our lives, His exposure will bring closure to whatever has you in shackles. Don't allow negative influences to modify your focus. The influences of your friends, so-called friends, and or social media can be a problem. In other words, your pursuit for acceptance can modify your pursuit towards excellence. Your mouth is a reflection of your heart, and your heart should be a growing reflection of Christ. So whatever comes out of your mouth should be a reflection of Christ and not how we feel. Position yourself to be available so that God can use you. Be prepared to give up what is comfortable to what may be uncomfortable to face the chaos on all sides. We can't afford to run around as if things are normal while the devil's taking extraordinary measures to bring us down. We may be running around unprotected as though everything is okay, choosing to be unassertive while the enemy is being aggressive. Each day you choose not to grow, he's expanding his boundaries deeper into your territory. Because we are now covered by his blood, the reflection of his love is now blossoming inside of us. And that very same love now bleeds out to others. Sometimes we're looking so far off we can't see the treasure standing right next to us. <laughs> I see. No matter what you have done or what you are doing, in the sight of God, our value as his treasure will not depreciate. Recognize that God always gives us everything that we need to do what he has called us to do. To do the absolute best that we can plus faith equals success. You bring a distinctive flavor to God's creation. Simply put, without you, this world has no flavor. It says our moon is a reflection of the sun at night. We are a reflection of Christ and are here for the sole purpose of illuminating God's love for the people. So don't allow your circumstances to appear larger than God's promises. God gives us our abilities, gifts, and talents for the purpose of sharing with others. Let us remember, we are still in a war, a spiritual battle that is ongoing. The enemy is in position to fight to win your soul. Are you positioned to protect it? If we could stop focusing on the faults of others, we can create an avenue to bring peace to distant relationships. That's the reason for this character, so that I can take a good look at myself first. We are the temple God wants to use to help deliver people. That temple to feed the 5,000. That temple to lead the army. That temple to encourage many through your letters, books, your movies, your hand of service, and even your encouraging smile. Sometimes we aim to win the approval of others at the expense of ourselves. Do not allow this world and your peers to influence you to do as they do. God did not create us to be copycats. So do not transform to their foolishness and just release that pressure. Your signature is different with every stroke of the pen as it is with every pattern of your life. God created you for a purpose in this location and time to be incredible with what he has given. Think about this for a second. What weakness is robbing you of your strength? And in what way are you laying down your gift into the lap of the enemy? You feel as though progress is not happening because you're repeating the same thing over and over again? And you assume God is not moving fast enough? Have faith. See, if you can see everything as a gift, words of thanks are always on your tongue, just looking for an excuse to come out. Being thankful looks for the good in any situation. A thankful heart will therefore find the good in any situation. Now that's a vivid example that shows that the power of the Holy Spirit, which lives within us, 
makes things possible. No matter how high the odds are stacked against you, it is God himself who has the power to put a cancellation on your impossibility. Forgetting what is behind is saying to me, I will no longer allow my past failures. I will no longer allow my past hurts or pains. I will not allow what has followed me into this year to keep me from stretching towards what God has for me today, tomorrow, and beyond. Sometimes the pain makes it hard for us to stretch. That's why you need to see, smell, and taste your win. See, for me, a little bit more versus a lot is a realistic, accessible goal that actually moves me closer and closer towards the prize one step at a time. If you've reached the top of Mount Everest and you gaze out and see there's nowhere else to go, reach down and help someone else up this path so they too can reach the pinnacles in their lives. Well, that's it for now. I pray that you were encouraged. Now, to support this channel, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And whatever you do, remember to keep showing the love. I'm Mr. J, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>